Sometimes it's best to understand your position in life. For example, you are a nobody, worthless, disposable. Don't feel bad, I'm in the same boat. Our wants and our needs mean nothing. We must only focus on the wants and needs of our betters. It is COVID restrictions for me, but not for thee. You don't get to have your Thanksgiving, but they surely will. You don't get to have your group dinners out, but they surely do. You don't get to get your hair done, but they do. You don't get to send your kids to school, but don't worry, they've got tutors. Today, New York City has announced that as of Thursday, all schools for all kids are closed. 300,000 kids already screwed up enough for having to live in New York City now also can't go to school because the positive test rate had risen above 3%. That is a rate that the United States has never been under since the quarantine and the COVID uh, circumstances all began. Not even for a day. It's never been below 3%. It was only shortly below 3% in New York because Cuomo and de Blasio let the virus ravage the entire society before basically welding people inside of their 200 square foot apartments for six months. And as we approach Thanksgiving, just over a week away, the government is telling you that you can't go see your friends and loved ones. But you know who can do that? Gavin Newsom, of course, governor of California. You see, he's better than you. He gets to go out with his friends, unless, of course, he gets caught. And then we have an edition of Newsom Theater. That a few weeks ago, uh, I was asked to go to a friend's 50th birthday. Oh. Uh, my wife and I, a friend that I've known for almost 20 years, and, oh, okay. uh, and a friend that had, well, put a lot of time and energy into his 50th birthday. It was in Napa, which was in the orange status, relatively loose compared to some other counties. Uh, it was to be an outdoor uh, uh, restaurant. Okay, all right, well, you, you have to stay home. But this was a birthday party. He's known the friend for a long time. Give the guy a break. We all make mistakes, right? And remember, he was outside. Except Fox 11 obtained photos of the incident, and it sure doesn't look like it was outside. Huh, look at that. Seems like, you know, he's inside. You know, given the fact that it seems to be fully enclosed by glass, I'd call that inside. Now, in theory, this room can be open to the outside. Town & Country Magazine ran a spread. I know, I'm a subscriber. On this restaurant a couple of years ago, and this appears to be the table Newsom and his friends were sitting at. And as you can kind of see here, and I'll explain this for those on podcast, you can see the open-air possibilities of this particular room. You can see it's theoretically possible that one side of the room would lead to the outside. Of course, it has a roof and walls on three sides. But apparently, Newsom and crew were so loud that the doors were shut and he was not outside after all. Of course, this not only means he's a hypocrite, it also means he's a liar, which teaches us absolutely nothing new about Gavin Newsom. But don't worry, he's sorry. I want to apologize to you uh, because I need to preach and practice, not just preach and not practice. And I've done my best to do that. Uh, we're all human. We all fall short sometimes. Uh, we are all human and we all do fall short sometimes. Sometimes we all sleep with the wives of our campaign managers while we're running for mayor of San Francisco. Happens to the best of us, you know, even to people like Gavin Newsom. But don't worry, he's sorry. Take a seat on that newspaper over there, you know, and allow Gavin to grab his raincoat and put on a little Huey Lewis and the news and their undisputed masterpiece, Hip to be Square. Now, if you think comparing Gavin Newsom to Patrick Bateman, the lead character in American Psycho, is a bit much. First of all, they look almost identical. But let me be clear. This elitist crap literally kills people. A lot more than Patrick Bateman. It does. When you turn the lives of your constituents into a living hell, for eight months, and then go out and break all of your own rules at the French Laundry, people understandably say, screw you to your precautions. You don't care about them. 
Why should I? You clearly don't mean this stuff. Why should I listen to it? Amazingly, it wasn't just Gavin Newsom and his friends, who, by the way, have wives that Gavin Newsom is definitely not sleeping with. Guess who the friends who were there with him were? California Medical Association officials were among the guests seated next to Governor Gavin Newsom at a top California political operative's opulent birthday dinner at the French Laundry. How can anyone take this stuff seriously? When people in leadership positions and medical professionals do stuff like this, people stop listening to them. The virus spreads further and more people die. But at least if you're going to risk all of that, at least you're doing it at the French Laundry, where you can get some Applewood smoked Wolf Ranch white, uh, white quail. I mean, that sounds delicious. With yam puree and glazed parsnips or hand rolled ricotta and ang one of those things anglonati with white truffles for only $175 what a bargain or perhaps you'd rather have the broken arrow ranch antelope with honey poached cranberries or the Japanese wagyu beef and broccoli with dry aged brisket for only a hundred bucks. And don't forget that exotic appetizer that is for some reason in quotes on the menu of the restaurant as if it's something fancy you wouldn't understand. Bread and butter. <laughs> this country has asked a lot of its citizens in 2020. They've asked us to stay inside, not see our relatives, let our economy implode. And we did our best to do what we could for a long time. But ask anyone today why they no longer can play along with this stuff anymore. And they'll run down a grand list of Gavin Newsom's. Mayor Lightfoot in Chicago, maskless in a crowd with a bullhorn. Chris Cuomo leaving quarantine and running around town maskless. Nancy Pelosi getting her hair did without a mask on. You can't go to your relative's funeral, but Democrats can sure pack a church for John Lewis's funeral. You can't go out to protest to get your business open, but if you want to burn down a city to honor black lives or celebrate Joe Biden, then yeah, completely fine. The COVID numbers are getting ugly again, but the American people are tired. But it's not COVID fatigue, it's hypocrisy fatigue. And apparently, hypocrisy is a lot harder to cure than the pandemic itself.